Hello guys, this week on this channel we're browsing the open source code of the new Laravel Pulse and topic of today is this line of code which I want you to appreciate, I want all of us to appreciate how Laravel makes our lives easier. This is just one example. So Laravel is quite famous for accepting parameters in different ways. So this example, record an entry of Laravel Pulse, accepts timestamp as daytime interface or as integer timestamp, or it may be null. So the thing I want you to appreciate is how much work is done under the hood. So whatever you pass to Laravel Pulse or Laravel itself, and I will show you that in a minute, it still works. So see, if timestamp is null, then okay, we're getting now from Carbon Immutable class. So it sets the timestamp for you. And then whenever that timestamp is actually needed, this line is activated. So if timestamp is daytime interface, then we get the timestamp. Otherwise, it's integer and we get just the integer. So this is how you would describe that syntax if you want to accept a parameter of a few types in your project. And I wanted to find multiple examples of that in Laravel code itself. So I searched in the framework code for just array integer. This is just one example. And already eight files are returned. So in queueable, we can pass daytime interface, date interval, array or integer. Illuminate collection helpers string array or integer let's actually take a look at this one closer so there's a method called data get which is a global helper which you can use in laravel by the way and the key passed may be string array or integer and here if it's null then we just return the target then we check if it's array then it's fine nothing to change otherwise if it's dot separated string then we need to explode that into array and then we're doing for each of that array and then the whole logic of the function. So my point is that in a lot of Laravel internal functions, they kind of validate your data or process your data into the format of what is actually needed inside of the function, whatever the format you're passing in. And also let's get back to the daytime interface here for those of you who don't know what is daytime interface. This is not a Laravel thing, this is a PHP thing. And so you would understand the hierarchy. Daytime interface is the PHP interface. I know it's not clear from just these words. So you would understand daytime interface is implemented in the date time class, which is also a PHP class. So you can see daytime, daytime interface. And some of you may not be familiar with daytime or daytime interface, but you're probably all familiar with carbon. So carbon is a class on top of PHP daytime class. So what that means in terms of syntax of daytime interface, that it accepts carbon object as well, because it implements daytime interface from PHP. So yeah, this is just a side note kind of objective oriented programming fundamentals. And speaking of fundamentals, also I remember that in my latest course, PHP for Laravel developers, I talk a lot about object oriented programming. And part of the topic is about interfaces, for example, filament interface for user model or interface with a trait. So if you're not that familiar with the whole logic of interfaces and implementation, I will link the full course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.